everyone, welcome to Hello Spoken English, speaking to you from Canada. I am your host, Anne. How's it going? Today, we will take a look at the Rhythm of English 1. Before starting, I want you to answer a quiz. There are three sentences. I will tell you three answers. And you should tell me which one is the right answer for each sentence. Okay, please listen carefully. The first one. How many dogs do you have? Number one. I have two. Number two. I have to. Number three. I have two. And the second one. I've been to Paris. Number one. I have two. Number two. I have to. Number three, I have two. The last one. Why do you learn English? Number one, I have two. Number two, I have to. And number three, I have two. The answers are, how many dogs do you have? Number three, I have two. I've been to Paris. Number one, I have two. Why do you learn English? Number two, I have to. How many correct answers do you have? Like the quiz, when native English speakers speak, they stress some words and don't stress other words to deliver what they want to say. That automatically makes the rhythm in English. There are two key elements to make the rhythm. The first one is syllable stress and the second one is sentence stress. Today we will take a look at the first one. If a word has more than one syllable, there will be stressed and unstressed vowels. For example, English has two syllables and you need to stress the first vowel, like English. And fortunate has three syllables, and you have to stress the first vowel. Fortunate, not like fortunate, stress on second syllable, or fortunate, stress on third syllable, or fortunate, no stress on it. Certificate, you have to stress on the second vowel. Okay, next. How do native speakers pronounce unstressed vowels in a word? They often pronounce them very quickly and silently, so it sounds very different to the spelling. We call it a schwa. It sounds like a, uh, and you can see the symbol on the screen. You can find a schwa in some words in the sentences. We will take a look at them next time. You can see the samples on the screen. The first one, police. The second vowel is a stressed syllable. So you need to pronounce the first vowel quickly and silently. Police, not police. Children. The first vowel is a stressed syllable, so it sounds like children. And the last one, Americano. The fourth vowel is a stressed syllable, and the first vowel should be sounded silently and quickly like Americano. If you stress the first vowel like Americano, Native speakers are not able to understand what you said. Let's practice it with a couple of exercises. I will let you listen to expressions three times, and you should try to repeat it exactly in a loud voice. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. 
She said, "He probably doesn't even remember what you said." I want to check it with the linking sounds. Doesn't even, not, doesn't a even, doesn't even. What you, not what a you, what you. If we say it by pronunciation. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. And next, if we apply the rhythm rules here, probably has multiple syllables. You have to stress the first vowel, and the second vowel is a schwa, so it sounds like probably. You have to make rhythm on this word. If you don't stress on any syllables, it sounds very weird to native speakers. Even has a stress on the first syllable, and the second one is a schwa. Even, and remember has a stress on the second syllable, and the last one is a schwa. Remember. If you follow the dots on the screen, you can find there is a rhythm like a wave. The first time, it is very difficult to imitate, but if you are familiar, you can easily listen and speak English like a native speaker. Please listen to the expression and repeat. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. Listen again and try to imitate her in a loud voice. He probably doesn't even remember what you said. And the next one. If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never going to enjoy it. If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never going to enjoy it. If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never going to enjoy it. He said, "If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never going to enjoy it." Let's check it with the linking sounds rules first. Keep thinking, not keep a thinking. Keep thinking. Negatively. Negatively. About exercise, not about to exercise. About exercise, enjoy it. Enjoy it. If we say it by pronunciation, if you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never gonna enjoy it. If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never gonna enjoy it. Now. We need to take a look at it applying the rhythm rules. Thinking has a stress on the first vowel. Thinking. Negatively, you have to stress the first vowel, and the second vowel sounds like a schwa. Negatively. About, the first one is a schwa, and the second vowel has a stress. About. Exercise. The first vowel is a stressed syllable, and the next one is a schwa. Exercise. You can also see some waves on the screen if you follow the dots. Please listen and repeat. If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never going to enjoy it. Say it in a confident voice, please. If you keep thinking negatively about exercise, you're never going to enjoy it. In our lectures, we are teaching you the English way of thinking and linking sounds rules for the first three months. After that, we will add the rhythm rules in our lectures using real English movies, so you can listen. More exactly and speak more fluently, like native speakers. But we don't use the dot symbols because it is way too complicated. 
we will explain the rhythm rules in a simple way. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in our lectures. Have a good one.